Well, hello there. Imagine for a moment the intricate tapestry of the human mind, a marvel that has puzzled and enchanted thinkers since the dawn of consciousness. Now, what if I told you that this tapestry is not merely a complex network of connections, but an entire universe within us waiting to be explored? Intriguing, isn't it? As we gather around the warm glow of our screens, I invite you into a sanctum of reflection where thoughts whirl like leaves in an autumnal wind. We're standing at the precipice of understanding, peering into the depths of the human brain, a cosmos within the cranium. Visualize for a moment the billions of neurons at work. They flicker and dance like countless stars, each a beacon in the vastness of our internal night sky. Now what if this neuronal dance were more than mere bioelectrical activity? Allow me to conjure a question that may challenge the very foundation of how we perceive our consciousness. What if our brains operate not just through connections, but also as a hologram where each part reflects the whole? Journey with me now as we thread the needle of this fascinating idea, unraveling the fabric of what is known as the holonomic brain theory. This notion, conceived by neuroscientist Carl Prebrom and physicist David Bohm, offers a compelling symphony of neurology and quantum mechanics. Picture a hologram. Each fragment, no matter how small, contains a full image. In the same way, this theory proposes that every part of our brain may contain all of its information, each synapse a mirror of the mind. Consider, for example, our memories. Traditional understanding paints them as a neural superhighway with specific routes leading to distinct recollections. But like a hologram, maybe our memories are scattered throughout the brain, their full images reconstructed from seemingly disparate pieces. As we delve deeper, we unearth the insights of those who came before us. Descartes once pondered cogito ergo sum, I think, therefore I am. This assertion underscores the essence of our consciousness, a certainty found in the act of thinking. But where does this consciousness reside? Prebrahm's collaboration with Bohm suggests that our consciousness isn't localized to one region, but perhaps pervasive, much like the interference patterns in a holographic image. The plot thickens as we consider Bohm's own words. Deep down, the consciousness of mankind is one, this is a virtual certainty, because even in the vacuum matter is one. And if we don't see this, it's because we are blinding ourselves to it. A bold claim, suggesting a unity of consciousness, akin to the interconnectedness within a holographic brain. The historical footprints lead us further back to Plato and his allegory of the cave. Mankind, perceiving shadows on the wall, understood reality only through a narrow lens. Our current understanding of the brain might just be our own shadows on the wall, assumptions of linearity in a world that works quite differently. Let us then examine an ethical conundrum that breathes life into our discussion. Picture a future where the holonomic brain theory changes not just our understanding of thought, but of personal identity. If our minds are akin to holograms, what implications might this hold for concepts of the self or free will? Does it broaden or diminish our sense of autonomy and moral responsibility? Now, branching out into the cultural sphere, how have these ideas been reflected in the art we consume? Take, for example, the mind-bending narratives in films like Inception or The Matrix, which play with the nature of reality and perception. These stories captivate our imaginations, illustrating the potential of consciousness as a holographic enigma, wrapped in a mystery, inside an enigma. As we consider the discussions and debates swirling around us today, like leaves in that autumnal wind I mentioned earlier, we must ask, how does the holonomic brain theory align or conflict with current scientific studies on consciousness? Some argue that it provides a quantum explanation for elusive phenomena such as telepathy or shared dreams. Others are skeptical, advocating for more empirical evidence before disrupting the established paradigms of neurology. Nonetheless, the relevance of this theory cannot be understated. In an increasingly AI-driven world, 
Understanding the holographic nature of our thoughts might be critical in differentiating human consciousness from artificial intelligence. Could it be that within this framework lies the key to preserving our humanity? As the threads of our narrative intertwine, we find ourselves at the crux of our exploration, a vista of ponderings and possibilities. The holonomic brain theory may be more than a fresh lens through which to view the mind. It might also offer an intrinsic value to our quest for self-discovery. Thank you truly for taking this journey with me. As we part ways for now, I leave you with this. Do you see your mind as a hologram reflecting the universe within you? How might this perspective change the way you live, love, and learn? And so, with a heart full of inquiry and a mind brimming with thoughts as vast as the cosmos, I bid you farewell. May your quest for knowledge be as boundless as the stars, and may the universe within you always guide your path. Remember, every great journey begins with the courage to question. So until we meet again, keep contemplating, keep questioning, and above all, keep exploring the boundless depths of your own personal universe.